65 degrees and tornadoes yesterday i wake up to this snow and 10 degrees i don't know what to say but arkansas get your crap together hey and welcome back to moustache fire i'm bruno triple is inside we're out here on part two of the fuselage build, me getting this thing ready to go. If you're following along, I appreciate it. Like, sub, subscribe, do all that good stuff. So what do we need to know before we do the side skins? This is it right here. We're on 75 Foxtrot Alpha Tac 1. There are no part changes, which is nice. Everything's match drilled to final size. So good on Zenith for that. Now, there are some things you're gonna wanna do. You gotta figure out which side's left and which side's right up and down and how they're oriented look as long as your windows are upright it doesn't matter which side's left and right they are mirrored images i spent 35 minutes looking for this information i was like why isn't this anywhere i can't find it ah uh, my buddy herman from wheels and wings down in florida edgewater was like hey man they're mirrored images it doesn't matter once you decide which side's left and which side's right as long as you go with that, you're good. So thank you to Herman for that, making me feel like a complete moron. And so here we go. Now, I did this exactly like I did the bottom of the fuselage build. Now we'll take a quick gander here of what I'm talking about. I went through, I marked where all of the parts go, just like I did on the other video. Foxtrot 18 Tech one our flange is facing forward. Our holes are on the rear, so I can't, can't mess this up it's very barney proof now you're going to want to make sure you look at your plans and make sure that everything is lined up the way and the way you're going to do that like i said you're on 75 foxtrot alpha tech one going on the screen right here right now those dark black lines on each of those uh, longerons and l angles are the flange and so that either faces forward or rear so you're going to just take a look at that come back down here mark it like i did you're going to have an easy day now there are some other things you need to know right here you're going to have some some brackets some l angles that are parts for like where things mount like our baggage se section and things like that so you make sure your flanges and everything are correct now so you don't mess up like i said i went ahead and did that also you want to know if it's going to go under or over a lip so this one goes under i wrote that there now here's something else if you're watching the home built help videos you're not going to rivet these three holes and that reason being is it's going to make it a lot easier when we go to put it in our rear fuselage over there uh, it gives us enough room to really um have have wiggle room basically and so that this thing goes together super easy um everything's match drilled final sole hole size you got your splice point on the end uh this goes super quick i'm gonna do that now i'm gonna get out of here before the heater kicks on here we go time lapse all right i want to take a quick second to show you what i got going here these plates are not the splice point here is not final drilled and neither is the cross brace so i'm gonna have to drill that but everything else has gone in extremely easy as you kind of see through the time lapse this goes extremely quick i'm on the last part of it so there you go i just figured uh there was something else i needed to show you in case that's yours you're gonna drill that out with the 20 because they're the a5 rivets they go to the horizontal uh frame piece in the back for the horizontal stabilizer uh, bulkhead so make sure you do that make sure you're going to clico with your silvers first like you saw on mine and then when you flip this over you know take your clicos out from bottom just go ahead and drill it then and do your final rivets on on it what you're seeing here is the video left over from a hard drive crash of all the sides i don't have the instructional video but it's super easy so you can see i'm getting everything final riveted it's just like the bottom put your sides on Get them going it's super easy clico this guy in place on the lander on and then you can even go ahead and final rivet it on the bottom if you'd like i'm gonna wait till i get the top done and we're gonna start the top now
Okay, I wanted to take a quick second to show you I've got everything final, final riveted. The only thing I don't have final riveted is this guy right here, which is section four, the baggage L angle. That's not done, but I will wait till this gets on top and I'm working on the baggage section on the inside. But everything else is final riveted. The gussets aren't there, but we'll take a quick second and take a closer look here for you. Where this A4 rivet turns into an A5 rivet with these four squares, this is where your horizontal stabilizer uh, mounts are gonna go, the horizontal stabilizer tail section, basically. Um, that's where all this goes. This is, this is for the bulkhead, the upright bulkhead in the fuselage, and so is this. So basically from here back, just Clico. No final rivets, because uh, we'll be doing a lot of stuff, and then this is that line we were talking about that is where the baggage L angle goes and then I haven't done the gusset yet because I want to do the side pieces over here first and like I said those so basically those spots you were seeing for where there's no rivet this from this point all the way back to the very back so we'll leave that as you can tell I've got everything just click going in place right now I'll get this guy put it on top of here We'll click over the top, and we're going to leave it to where I can get in, just in case I ever need to get back there and say, like, run cables and do anything until I am ready to uh, start doing the tail section. Uh, so I'm going to leave that where I can remove it, and I can run wires and do everything, and I'm not going to be messing up anything. Um, and we're going to do the front section here in a second, and we're going to talk about the things you need to know about that. So here we go, part two again. And Horizontal section, horizontal front section coming up now. Hey, and welcome back to Moustache Flyer. I'm Bruno. Tripoli happens to be inside. We are working on part two of our rear fuselage build. So this will be our side pieces, our top channel, everything to stiffen this guy up along with the top skin itself. There are a few things we need to know and get out of the way, just like we always talk about. Currently, we're on 75's Foxtrot Alpha Attack 2. That's going to show us our top skin and how everything goes together. Then also 75 Foxtrot Alpha Dash 7 for our gusset so that we can see this. This is one of the most important things you need to know. On this gusset piece, which is our 75F4 TAC4 rear wing attachment point, there are three holes right here that you need to circle. Those are going to be for AN 3-5 alpha bolts. Now, why does that matter? Well, we don't want to rivet or put anything inside those holes because that's where the bolts go. Not just that, we're going to go ahead and install the bolts when we do our top section piece here, which goes to, together extremely easy. So going back to 75 Foxtrot Alpha TAC 2, you're gonna see how this thing goes together. Uh, so you have F3-3, F3-4, and 3-6. 3-3 just goes on top of 3-4 like that. You're gonna follow this angle, all the holes will line up. And then also you're gonna make sure that these three holes right here, you're gonna mark those because that's where the bolts are gonna go through for our gusset piece. Now our rear channel doubler right here, 75 3-6, just goes on the back like that. Now, why is this important? Well, we don't want to do anything to the top. We can go ahead and clico the top, and we can go ahead and put rivets in the side, just not where our gusset goes, our bottom and our back. But we do not want to rivet anything on top. Our top skin's gonna lay here, then we'll rivet it together. Then we'll take 75 f 4 one, we'll go together like that. Inside of our rear fuselage, we'll show you how to do that. Now, here is something else you want to know. We are doing the baggage section, but I want to talk about it right now because you might be confused. This piece right here is 75 Foxtrot 6 TAC 5. It has holes on one side and a flange on the other. This is what the top of the bracket back lays against, just like that right there, except for it goes like that. So you can clico your baggage compartment, but you're gonna to need to draw a line down the middle and drill your holes. I'm not gonna do that until after the top skin's in place, and I'm gonna show you why later on in the video, but just go ahead and take a mental note if you're out there working on it. That piece needs to go in when you do the baggage back section. And with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna lay all these pieces up. We'll get to the baggage section in the fuselage and the top skin. Get all right, so we have our top channel assembly ready to go. This is a collection of parts, F3-9, 7, and 6. 
Uh, it's our top channel, rear top channel, top channel angle put together. Our top is just Clicode, but the sides are riveted in the front. And we have 75 F4-4, which is our wing attachment plate. Now, we've got to talk about a couple things. These AN3-5 bolts here, I used a Harbor Freight torque wrench. Do not do that. Do not go out and buy the Harbor Freight torque wrench. It is garbage. Uh, I snapped two bolts. It is garbage. These need to be tightened down to 20 inch pounds uh, for the nut on the inside. If I had this all over to do again, I wouldn't have riveted this part here on. Uh, I would have waited and then just been able to pick up my Torx on the bolts right there, then put it back together and then came through here and riveted everything. But to each his own, we've got to do what we've got to do. And you'll notice here that I have long bolts with nuts here. And what that is, is I did not want to buy number six Clicos for A6 rivets. The reason being is I can't really afford that right now. So I just did some long 3 16 uh, bolts with some little nuts. Got my triangle going so this thing doesn't move. Put my bolts in, starting from the middle, working my way out, obviously, because it makes it easier. I started tightening and doing everything I needed to do. These are those AN3-5 Alpha bolts, 20, 20 to 25 inch pounds. And then if you have drag, which means if you have a wrench that is starting to move, add three pounds. Um, your 3 16 inch washer goes on the inside, obviously, uh, it's kind of hard to see, I'm trying to do this the best I can, but you can see the washer, then the nut, someone was telling me on the forums I needed to put the washer on this side, that's not how that works, don't do that. Now, back to where we're at, so I've got this plate on here with these guys, I've went ahead and torqued these down, and what you're going to notice is your A6 rivets do not go in these holes. It's because you're going to need to drill them out. You're going to need to take a number 12. Uh, a 3 16 inch isn't going to work. And so what I did is I went and picked up a Harbor Freight uh, Warrior 60 piece, 60 piece drill bit set. It was $19.99. Worked out great. It's got a number 12 in it. Perfect. And you'll drill those out. And when you drill them out, you'll put your A6s in just like that. And then I used a hand riveter with the flat piece and riveted these on. And you're only going to do it to this point because this side here is our side angle channel for the fuselage, just like that. And so you can go ahead and do this now. Uh, I'm going to use bolt to keep it in line. So I'll do uh, one here, one here, and one here so I'll keep it from turning. And give me a triangle so that... It's really easy to work with. And drilling these out, just take your time. It's nothing too crazy. It's super simple, super easy. Uh, I mean, I can sit here and show you how to do a few of them. Since I have everything tight, you know, it's just as simple as doing an A, A4, A5 drill. Boom. Then I'll come back through here. Deburr. like that do my corrosion protection and I'm ready to go a6 rivets and you're ready to go so I will do that now you wanted to see what I was doing is I take a 3 16 inch, inch bolt this is just one that I had laying around just like that it's in the middle one so I find the middle hole right here just like that it pops through and I can just do that there. No need to go out and spend a bunch of money on Clicos because this works just as easy. I'll find one that, a little further down here like that one. Just like that. Before I tighten both of these down, since this is a new piece, it's got a little bit of flex left and right, I'm gonna triangle one right there. Once I find the other bolt right here. So now I've got a little triangle going. Yeah, you can do it 
You can do it up here if you wanted to. This one's a little easier right here. Keep in mind, my the reason I didn't show all this before is my left hand does not work so well. Uh, I suffered a stroke while I was in the military and my hand does not have full strength on my left hand. That's why you see me using my right hand so much to do things. You can kind of see it's, uh, it's kind of got it where it's not gonna move a little bit. And I'll actually put some A6 rivets in, one at the top, one at the middle. Apparently I didn't drill these out. Thought I did. Guess I didn't. Just like that. I'll put these guys in here, even though I'm gonna take this all apart, but it'll give you an idea of why I do what I do. So now I know that no matter which way I go, with this, when I am tightening these and doing them, just like that, now this plate won't move at all. You can see, not moving. So then I can take these back out, which I'm gonna end up taking all this off anyway, since I got a deeper. I'll do that right now. We have it all ready to go as you can see here. Uh, you'll do the same thing on the other side, which I've still got to do over here, but I'll do that and then we'll put this sucker on our fuselage. All right, I apologize in advance, guys. Like I said, I had a hard drive crash. Some of this video was lost, this was a particular part. So what I did was I took my assembly piece, made sure that it was over under the top skin then on the sides I just came through here and clico it all the way down uh, you'll see in the substantial videos from here I still have that but uh, on the top I just went through and clico everything because the rest of the video is me putting this stuff on and you can still even see I'm pretty far ahead and I still don't have that baggage section uh, fully put in there so keep that in mind and we'll pick back up here on the top section. All right, so what I'm doing here is I was able to record the video, but not the audio. So what we've got going is I'm telling you simply that I went ahead and put the top skin on, pulled the sides apart a little bit, and then those three spots, as you can see, the very top of all those L angles that are still clicoed, I uh, pulled it kind of apart, put my ruler through, and then just slid it all the way down the top, and that top piece just dropped into place. Then I started with clicos at the back, worked my way all the way to the forward, and then kind of started clicoing and final riveting and drilling things through. And as you can see, I'm talking about the Laundron and the front piece and uh, we got it now we're ready i didn't put any clicos in the front because i want to catch everything so i've got to do a little bit more to that drill them out and so here we go all right and so here we go i am final riveting everything in place on this side i'll do it to both sides i just want to say a quick thank you to everyone that has subscribed liked and commented if this is your first time here please hit me with that sub button get that little bell notification going so you know when i upload a new video i have a bunch more coming out after this i appreciate each and every one of you you guys are freaking awesome i hope to see you on the next one this is bruno mustache flyer out